Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys one of the best desktop customization software for Windows PC. So let's get into it. So I will put link in the description for this website. You can go here and download the software. So the software name is Screen Styler and it's pretty new software to customize your Windows PC. And uh, yeah, once you're here, just click on download button and it will actually take you to the mega files. And here you can download the software. It's uh, almost like 118 megabyte. Just download it, install it, just like you install the other programs and then open the program just like this and uh, give it a name. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna give myself KB and after that, this is how it's gonna look. And you can actually uh, click on learn the basic and you will learn how to use this software if you don't want to watch this video, <laughs> okay? And uh, But uh, I'm gonna walk you through how to use this anyway, okay? So um, here we have the create a new style option. We can just create new style and uh, we can also use a default example style or theme and uh, we can also save the themes uh, we can make different types of themes different types of uh, styles you know you'll understand once we get into it so let's begin so it says here click here to begin so just click on that and this is the example style and you can actually use this and there is a deer which will actually assist you how to use this okay <laughs> and you can click on hide and this is how the desktop will look if you apply this theme right now so if you want to add more widgets then you can see in the left side bar we have a bunch of options so if we click on this this is the background option we can choose different wallpapers there is a wallpaper library okay and uh, if you don't like to use the wallpaper of this uh, software then you can just uncheck or just disable change wallpaper option and uh, if you don't like the wallpapers you can also use a plain solid color i guess yeah so this is a basic you know uh, wallpaper changing option and you can also use your custom wallpapers if you wish and then we move on to the interesting thing which is widgets so second option we have the widgets here we can add multiple widgets to our desktop so we have time clock okay and day and we have some other uh, widgets too you can see here so i like world clock so i know you know time of other countries so i can use this too so let's for example okay i'm just making a tutorial here if you wish to see how the desktop will look you can minimize the sidebar just like that and uh, you can arrange you know where you want your widgets to go okay so these are a big widgets okay there are many you can go and find the widgets that you like so and the second one we have the grid widgets which will look like ios style widgets you can see at the right side uh, you can click on one of these and you can add them just click on it and you can see this is the battery status uh, i'm using a desktop actually <laughs> so it's not going to be useful for desktop users but if you use laptop yeah it's going to be useful and maybe some of you guys will say that these widgets are not enough i need more so actually this software is in beta so if you watch the official video of this uh, software um, then uh, you will understand that they will add more widgets and more applications to this software so this is in beta yet so they are trying to add more stuffs to it so yeah in future we will get lots of widgets so for now these are the widgets we have and we can also customize the widgets how they look we can change the color of the widgets background let's say i want the white they all go white just like that you know and uh, second we have the icons we can uh, 
add the icons let's say i want to add a chrome icon somewhere here so let's go you see chrome is there now so we have another option for the app icons we have two grid which means it will go inside the grid to dock it will go into the dock we will talk about the dock because next one is dock and anywhere anywhere it i can drop the widget anywhere like it's gonna be big huge and i can have that anywhere we want okay and we can also add custom icons if there is an application that is not listed here in the app icons then you can use your custom icon and link to that software and it will work so it's pretty cool so now let's talk about doc so uh, it is actually a custom version of the rocket doc and it will look very good uh, when, once you enable it you can see this is how it looks we can go and give it a, a white background maybe transparency yeah just like that i'm gonna go black then it will go all full transparent and it is cool uh, i'll show you uh, the animations it's like ready to use rocket top you don't have to do any customization it looks cool it is good but you want to change the size or position you can do it from here you can see we have the dock position and size whatever size you like you know i think uh, 48 is good for now we can go tiny too and to add icons to the widget uh, we can go back to the app icons and here we can go to to dock option all right and then we just click on the icon and it will add to the dock and if you don't see your app list here you can upload your custom icon and add it to your dock all right so yeah that's it and these are the like a big big uh, features to customize your uh, desktop and now we move on to the steam customization steam theme i don't use steam but i think this is how the steam looks by default all right but we have steam themes if you use steam you play lots of steam games then you can customize you can give different theme to your steam so you can see we have this 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 i don't have steam but i can still preview oh look at this the red and i think this is the deadpool looks cool yeah you can customize the steam too and uh, yeah that's it and after that we have the options settings and here we can do a lot of changes to this software and if you want to save your style that you just created let's say for example this uh, you can go to the metadata and give a name like uh, maybe kb tut tutorial oh, i can't have a space okay i'm just gonna leave it as kb and uh, i can save this once you have given the name to your theme you can click on this save icon all right and it will say saved locally all right and then i can also export this just like that and uh, i can give this thing to other people to my friend or anyone if you have any friends like uh, yeah you can give your custom theme to your friend <laughs> and then to apply this uh, click on this green icon uh, there are no available skins okay so uh, the, uh, you won't get any errors but i forgot to mention one more thing that if you don't have a rain meter installed it will not work so make sure that you have rain meter installed and i'm sure you know about rain meter rain meter is also a desktop customization software you can add lots of widgets and all that so it's basically um works with rain meter so basically this software is a combination of different softwares like rocket dock rain meter a steam theme you know you got the idea it's a combination of different software so it's an all-in-one 
uh, desktop customization software. So make sure that you have Rainmeter installed and after that click on install just like that. And now if you check your desktop by minimizing it, you will see all the things you have done here are here. All right. So uh, there will be some messages. Uh, just you can close them and you have all the widgets here and it looks cool. Okay, this is just an example. I, I just did a tutorial, but I can make my desktop look even cooler if I take time. So yeah, now go ahead and customize your desktop. And I forgot to show you this. So look at this rocket dock. It has animations, cool animation when you hover your mouse. And when I open the file explorer or anything like that, you can see, yep. It's like you don't have to do any customization to the rocket dock. By default, it looks cool. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. To go back to the home screen of the software, just click on start. And here you will see your style. So you can see this is your style. And let's say you want to make a new style. Just click on create a new style and it will say something like this uh, yeah my style is already saved i can click on ok or cancel something like that and here we have the new fresh uh, environment to work with so we can delete all of these and we can start working on new theming style and we can save that with a different name and yeah we can have multiple styles you get the idea and if you want to learn the basics you don't like my videos then click on this learn the basics and play the video just like that and i actually watched the video too yeah <laughs> so yeah this is the official video for this and you can watch this and have fun uh yeah that's it hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you make any cool styles uh, you can do the comment and uh, yeah, maybe I'll use your style. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will put link in the description for the software. You can go there, download it and have fun. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.